Want to become an ethical hacker or cybersecurity expert? Then setting up your own home lab is the first step. In this video, I'll show you how to create a complete cybersecurity lab at home, 100% free, beginner friendly, and powerful. Disclaimer, this video is made for educational purposes only. We do not promote or encourage any illegal activities. Before building your lab, define your goal. Are you preparing for CEH, OSCP, or learning bug bounty, web app pentesting, or malware analysis? Your lab setup will depend on this. Your main PC, the host system, should be powerful enough to run multiple virtual machines. I recommend at least RAM, minimum 8 GB required, but 16 GB is recommended. CPU, an Intel i3 will only allow basic usage, you won't be able to do much. For better performance, use at least an Intel i5 i7 or Ryzen 5 of 7. Also, make sure the CPU generation is up to date. Storage, you can use a 120 GB SSD but you'll need to keep storage free and will only be able to perform basic tasks. 250 gigabytes of free storage is recommended. OS, the base operating system can be Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. Note, if you use an i3 CPU with 8 gigabytes RAM, you should only run one Linux or Parrot OS virtual machine. Even with more RAM and storage, performance will not be smooth on an i3. Step 3. Install virtualization software. Search VirtualBox Download in any browser and go to the official site. Choose the version based on your operating system. I'm using Windows, so I'll click Windows Hosts. The download starts automatically. After it finishes, just double-click to start the installation. Along with VirtualBox, you can also use VMware Workstation. But keep in mind, VMware has a paid version. VMware Workstation Pro, free for personal use. To download VMware Workstation Pro, first open a browser and search for VMware Workstation Download. The official website will show up in the search results, click on it. Scroll down a bit, and you'll see VMware Workstation Pro for PC, download now, and it will ask you to log in. If you don't have an account, you'll need to register first, just click register. You can use your personal email or a temporary one. After filling out the CAPTCHA, just click Next. You'll get a verification code in your email, enter it to confirm. Then fill in your first name, last name, country, job title, password, and confirm password. Accept the terms and conditions, and click Create Account. Now, sign in using your email and password. Click on Download Available here, then scroll down and click VMware Workstation Pro. You'll see two options, one for Windows and one for Linux. Since I'm using Windows, I'll choose the Windows version. Several versions will appear, I'll pick the latest one. Before downloading, you need to agree to the terms and conditions, then click the Download icon. It will ask for some basic information, just fill it out and click Submit. After that, you'll get the VMware Workstation Pro download file. Click the download icon, choose a folder to save it, and hit save. The download will start automatically. If your internet speed is good, it won't take long. Double-click the file to start the installation. If it asks for a license key, you can add it later. Besides these, there's also Hyper-V if you're using Windows Pro or Enterprise. But for this video, I'll be using VirtualBox. Step 4. Install your machines. Now it's time to install virtual machines. First, download and install Kali Linux. For VirtualBox, download the Linux version made for VirtualBox. For VMware, download the VMware Linux version. Once downloaded, extract the file. Then, just double-click the VirtualBox file, it will automatically import into VirtualBox. Now you can adjust the settings as you like. I've already shown how to install everything in a separate video, the link is in the description. If you face any issues during installation, feel free to check that out. 
your attacker machine packed with tools like Map, Metasploit, and Burp Suite. Now, let's add vulnerable targets for practice. First, we'll download Metasploitable 2 and connect it with our Linux server. After the download is complete, first extract the file. Then go to your virtual machine and import it directly. Then, click Start. Once it opens, the username and password are both MSF admin. We'll use the ifconfig command to check the IP. Our IP is 192.168.247.135. Now, we'll enter this IP in the Linux browser's URL bar. To log into DVWA, the username is admin and the password is password. You can start practicing from this lab. DVWA damn vulnerable web app. OWASP Juice Shop, a vulnerable web app for bug bounty practice. One of the best bug bounty practice labs is Portswigger, and it's completely free. To keep your real system safe, set the lab network to bridge adapter. This ensures your test machines can communicate with each other, but not with the internet or your real operating system. Step 6. Install hacking tools. Map Network Mapper. Purpose, port scanning, network discovery, and vulnerability detection. Key features. Discovers open ports and services. OS fingerprinting and version detection. Scriptable interactions with targets, NSC scripts. Example command. Map SV, a target URL. Burp Suite. Purpose, web application security testing. Key features. Intercepts and modifies HTTP slash S requests proxy. Automated Vulnerability Scanning Scanner Repeater for Manual Request Manipulation Intruder for Brute Forcing or Fuzzing Use Case Finding SQLE, XSS, CSRF and other web vulnerabilities Wireshark Purpose Network Protocol Analysis and Packet Inspection Key Features Captures Live Traffic PCAP Files Decrypts Encrypted Traffic with Keys Filters Packets e.g. TCP.Port equals equals 80 Use case, debugging network issues, detecting malicious traffic. Hydra. Purpose, password brute forcing and credential cracking. Key features. Supports protocols like SSH, FTP, HTTP, RDP. Dictionary attacks with word lists. Example command. Hydra, L admin, P passwords.txt SSH forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.1. Metasploit. Purpose. Exploit development and penetration testing. Example workflow. Is console. Key features. Large database of exploits and payloads. Post exploitation modules. Meterpreter. Automation of attacks. Step 7. Start practicing. Now you're ready to practice real hacking skills safely. Try scanning Metasploitable with MAP. SQL injection on DVWA. Password attacks using Hydra. Privilege escalation in Linux. Every mistake is a lesson, and this lab is your playground. Step 8. Take notes and logs. Track your steps. Keep notes of every scan, command, exploit, and result. Use tools like Cherry Tree, Notion, or even plain Markdown. Good documentation builds great hackers. If this video helped you, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.